Um, so authorities, as we just pointed out, they've ordered people in the southeastern end of the country, in Tuara, Lindi, and so on, to essentially get out of the way, to evacuate low-lying areas. But what other measures are being put in place? Hello, Rama. Uh, yes, you're very uh, right that uh, initially the government had uh, evacuation, a mass evacuation plan for uh, citizens living near the, 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 the coastline uh, and citizens who are, f are fishermen and depend on the, the sea for, for survival. Now, uh, the government moved them to elevated areas. It had uh, prepared areas like schools, the, the Mtwara Airport, and other elevated areas as a safe zone uh, in, in sort of preparation and protection against uh, Cyclone Kenneth. Uh, but the the latest uh, news is that uh, the regional commissioner from Tuara has now released citizens back uh, uh, to their homes because uh, experts feel that uh, the weather system is now going to be moving away. It was initially in the border of uh, uh, the southernest part of uh, Tanzania and Mozambique after coming from Comora and causing devastation. We know reports that about three people have been uh, killed uh, by the cyclone as it passed Comora. So Tanzania was in a state of alert, but now uh, the Tanzania Meteorological uh, agency uh, and also authorities in that southern part, uh, Lindi, Ntwara, and Ravuma, have released people back to their homes, but have said the danger might not be over. So it's not like uh, they've been told to relax, but they've been told to uh, be on alert as the night goes on and towards tomorrow morning to see the state of the weather. But projections are that uh, the weather system would be now moving away, and it's expected to be about 300 kilometers out of uh, the, the Mtwara uh, coast uh, over the next 48 hours. Right, so at least though of 45% uh, of Tanzania's generation capacity for electricity is coming directly from natural gas. And that region that we're speaking about, Lindim Trara, that's essentially the gas hub uh, for the country. What preparations, if any, uh, has Tanesco put in place to ensure that even if, in the worst case scenario, gas supplies are cut, the lights stay on? Yes, uh, gas is the uh, entire that zone is a hot zone for gas since the 1970s, and um, there are vital installations in the um, Simbati uh, zone. This is where the gas is extracted and, and sort of trans transported for processing. Now, uh, what are the latest from again the the head of uh, the Mtwara region is that the the, the the centers, the facilities are on alert. They have not uh, decided to turn off the systems yet, uh, but they feel that because of the change in the weather system and the possibility of the weather system now moving away based on the latest projections from TMA, Tanzania Meteorological uh, Agency, there might not be a need to uh, uh, turn off the system. So engineers are on alert and Tenesco uh, experts are on alert to wait and see over the next uh, 12 hours what will be the state of uh, the weather there. Right, so walk us through the contingency planning here. How much damage do the authorities expect this cyclone, Cyclone Kenneth, to inflict on Tanzania, given the fact that it's now curving away, as you say, from the Tanzanian coastline? Um, looking at the latest uh, pictures from its path, uh coming to uh, the border of Mozambique and Tanzania when he passed Comoro, uh, it's almost a big relief for people in Tanzania to hear that uh, um, the, the devastation that was uh, previously expected because of what we saw from Comoro might uh, have been avoided. Um, they feel that the winds, uh, as hours go on towards the next 24 hours, will get uh, weaker because it's moving, the system is moving back into the sea and away from uh, Pwani, uh, the, the coastal area, which is like, uh, which is in Tuara, Lindi, and Ruvuma. So uh, they, they, they don't expect expect a lot of devastation. In fact, I was talking to the regional commissioner this evening. He was telling me the skies are clear uh, and the clouds have, have, have sort of cleared. And they, they're in a positive uh, uh, perception that perhaps uh, um, it, the worst might have been over. But still, uh, the Tanzania People's Defense Force is on alert. The, the Prime Minister's Office, which responds to uh, natural disasters, is also on alert. Uh, we know that the Red Cross is also have stations there. So th they're prepared in case uh, things turn and, and, and the weather system causes damage. Uh, to be able to handle the situation. Well, I can certainly tell you exactly why the skies are clear on your side of the world. They came all the way to Nairobi, and now we're seeing quite a bit of rain. Thank you for the update. That's Daniel Kijo there live in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.